Today is one of those hot days that might have closed some schools under a bill just passed by the New York State Legislature. It does need the governor's signature to actually become law, but as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, it sets a maximum temperature for classrooms. On this simmering day. It's so hot. I get so tired. Kids across New York State are haves and have nots. Those who have air conditioned classrooms and those who don't. Here at the Patchogue Medford School District, some classroom temps have at times topped 100 degrees. It's hard to breathe, it's hard to learn. The heat is uh, excruciatingly hot in the classrooms. But climate control is coming to this district. Voters just approved the $50 million price tag for 11 schools. Soon the state could have a say on how hot is too hot. A proposed law just passed by the legislature sets limits. At 82 degrees in a classroom, action is required, such as windows opened, fans on. At 88 degrees, the classroom must be vacated. More than 1,000 teachers and students provided written testimony. It's unhealthy, it's unsafe. Teachers were reporting last year in September that they were leaving with migraines, um, signs of heat exhaustion, and just clothes soaked through with sweat. But while well-intentioned, the bill was opposed by the New York State School Board Association. Creating heat days could send students to even hotter buses and homes. We think we need to be more thoughtful because just to say that, uh, you know, schools should be canceled or students should be moved into other areas, that all presupposes that, number one, there's space for them to move into. Uh, number two, uh, that it's not going to be disruptive to parents. H2M is an engineering firm working with dozens of school districts. If we're just adding window ACs, um, it can range from roughly 20,000 per classroom. Um, if we're doing central systems and overhauling the whole school, it can be 50,000 or plus. One of the bill's sponsors points out there are laws regulating high temperatures in animal shelters, yet not classrooms. For now, New York State only mandates that classrooms be no cooler than 65 degrees. In Medford, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. The law would only apply to public schools here. Stay with CBS2 and our First Alert weather team for continuing coverage of the extreme heat. You can also find a complete list of open pools, beaches, and cooling centers all there for you at CBSNewYork.com.